Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and today I'm going to be giving you my final Millwall analysis video of the footballing season. And this was Barnsley versus Millwall at Wembley. Barnsley did win the game 3 1. They deservedly won that game. They were fantastic, and Millwall just didn't turn up to the occasion. Now, let's talk about what happened in the game. Disaster struck so early on as, well, Connor Horahane headed the ball over the top to Ashley Fletcher, who flicked the ball both over the heads of Carlos Edwards and Tony Craig, two of our defenders, and that made himself one-on-one -on -one with Jordan Archer, and he just tucked the ball into the back of the net and gave Barnsley that very, very early lead. And, well, I was really shocked when watching it. I did make a vlog, so you guys can check that out. I will leave a link in the description of this video. It was uploaded yesterday, so hopefully you guys have already seen it. But two minutes into the game and they scored that, that was so horrendous. But Fletcher did almost have a second goal as he beat the offside trap as the ball was played over the top and he went one-on-one -on -one with Jordan Archer yet again you would think Millwall would have sorted this out by now but they didn't and well Archer magnificently made the save very very great goalkeeping he really should have scored there and I would have expected him to after that first goal <laughs> but it just went bad to worse for Millwall as Adam Hamill picked up the ball, he skilled past both Carlos Edwards and Ben Thompson. And then he had a long-range shot go straight into the back of the net. It was absolutely sensational, the goal. Unbelievable defending by Millwall. We should have got a lot closer to him, considering he scored a few long ranges this season. And, well, either way, I'm all, all I'm going to say here is the Tykes were leading 2-0 on Millwall. We're in big trouble. We needed something. And, well... We did get something. We did get back in the game as Shane Ferguson crossed the ball in from a corner. That then met with the head of Steve Morrison. It almost went off the pitch, but Gregory stopped it from actually going off the pitch and headed it back in. Tony Craig then tried to have a shot. He scuffed it, and that scuffed shot found its way to Mark Beavers, who turned beautifully before blasting the ball into the back of the net. That was the hope that Millwall needed. That put us 2-1 and that game was pretty much in for a battle. And, well, we went into halftime with a decent scoreline. At least we weren't losing 2-0. Now, into the second half, Millwall really should have scored. And, well, they missed their best chance of the game to get equal in this game. As Aiden O'Brien had the ball, we then played it through to Steve Morrison, who went to the edge of the box and dragged Adam Davis, the Barnsley goalkeeper, out with him as he tried to track him to stop him from having the chance. Morrison then crossed it in as Davis was trying to get back in. Gregory had a header that went sky high. Should have done a lot better with it before Davis then fisted the ball away. It dropped to Jimmy Abdu, who had his shot, but... Let's be honest, Abdu's shots aren't amazing, but it did find its way straight to Aiden O'Brien, and you would have expected him to do better with this, but his shot was straight at Davis, and that meant we missed one of our best chances in this match. Now, Barnsley ramped up the game with a goal from a corner as Connor Horahane crossed the ball in. It went straight onto the head of Lloyd Isgrove. I heard it was his first goal for Barnsley. He's on loan from Southampton. That was so frustrating. Such poor positioning by Jordan Archer. To allow the ball to go in the back of the net. And that meant that they practically won that game. Mill did have one more chance. Well, it was kind of a chance. As Chris Taylor had a shot. But Davis was equal to it. And made the save. Now, Barnsley did win the game. And are promoted to the championship. They were the better side. They deserved to win. I hope Paul Heckingbottom gets the job. I know that he's in talks with Barnsley at the moment. And he's worked so much magic for Barnsley. To take him to Wembley twice and win twice at Wembley isn't easy. So that is a fantastic effort by the interim manager. And hopefully he will get appointed. And I do hope Barnsley do well. Ashley Fletcher is on loan from Manchester United. So maybe try and see if they can get him on a permanent deal. Lloyd Isgrove from Southampton and Josh Brownhill from Preston. Those are their free loanies. Pretty good players. Maybe try and get some of them. If they can't, then they may need to just replace him because they did play significant parts in the team. Now, for the key players, for Barnsley, I'm going to have to go with Adam Hamill as he was just too quick and too skillful for Millwall and obviously was one of their key attacking players and scoring that very, very beautiful goal. Now, for Millwall, I'm going to have to go with Mark Beavers. In the vlog, I was a bit disappointed that he was playing in the game, obviously, because he can be unreliable at times. But he really stepped up to the plate and scored a goal. And we would have conceded a lot without him being in that squad. He made so many last-ditch challenges and was fantastic. Now, the real reason we lost that game was due to the fact that Byron Webster 
didn't start, he was probably one of our most important players this season. And obviously, Joe Mylan going off, that meant that Ferguson couldn't attack maybe as much as he wanted to. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Mill Analysis video and all the Mill Analysis videos I've done throughout this season. I will continue to do this next season as we are in League One again, unfortunately. But what I'll be doing this time is I'll be linking these analysis videos with my match reports that I do on my WordPress site. If you haven't checked it out, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can have a read. Currently, there's only the preview for Barnsley versus Millwall, but there are a few. I started it when we actually played Bury, so I have a lot up to date there, but I've just got to do the final report for Barnsley versus Mill, which I will get on to doing, and that will be up probably by Thursday. I'm quite busy. I've got a few stuff to do. I've got to make a few videos. So hopefully it'll be up by then and you guys can have a read. It's very detailed, so if you like reading, obviously that will be the alternative next season. You can read that or you can watch this and listen to me. So anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And of course, stay tuned for more videos on my channel. And don't forget, next season we will be back with the Millwall analysis videos. Goodbye.